Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Tammy and this is Happiness Created. Uh, today I am going to be showing you a couple of uh, Dollar Tree tobacco basket dupes. Um, I have always loved the tobacco baskets, um, but I can never find any for a good price. Um, and I just, I don't know, I saw these baskets at uh, Dollar Tree and I, I just figured why not try it. So anyway, I hope you enjoy the video. If you do, please give it a couple of thumbs up uh, and hit that subscribe button and don't forget the bell. And, um, you know, comment down below which one you like best um, and what else you'd like to see from me. Um, I know I'm fairly new, but um, I still take requests. Anyway, I hope you have a great day and um, let's get to it. So for our first project, we're gonna do a beautiful spring wall hanging. Um, I got the words at uh, Hobby Lobby. The basket came from Dollar Tree and the beautiful flowers came from Walmart. So you'll see here that I decide to paint the three separate words with uh, three separate colors and I'm using the Deco Art Americana from Hobby Lobby. Once all the colors were mostly dry, um, I decided to go in with the Waverly chalk paint in white and do um, a little uh, dry brushing. Um, you'll notice here that um, I'm kind of looking at my uh, my paintbrush here. Um, it started shedding on me pretty bad. Uh, so I ended up having to throw that one away um, and grab a new one to uh, complete the whitewashing. I then grabbed this um, sign from Christmas 
um, and I'm going to use that kind of as a base for the words. Um, so I go ahead and give it a couple coats of the uh, Waverly white chalk paint. Now that that's completed, I am taking some of the floral wire, which I'm going to use to hang that from the basket. Uh, while it's drying, I decide to uh, go through the flowers and um, just cut off the ones that I'm going to use for this particular project. Now that I have that hanging from the basket, I take some of the floral and just try to play around with um, the placement. Um, I spent a lot of time doing this, um, so I'm showing you some of it. Um, I didn't want to bore you with um, taking too much time showing you all of the different ways that I arranged the flowers. Now that I'm pretty sure where the flowers are going, I take everything out so that I can secure the sign to the basket. Um, and then I uh, secure the words to the sign. And now the fun part of arranging all of the flowers into um, the areas that I've decided they belong.
So once I have all the flowers placed and glued down, I just kind of flip it over and go over um, all of the different spots with the sign and the flowers, just to make sure that everything is um, secure. And as you can see, I jump off camera for a little bit to go grab some ribbon. Um, trying to decide which color to use for this project. Uh, in the end, I decide to go with the lace ribbon from Dollar Tree. So I cut off a small piece and uh, tie a knot in the top um, and that will be the hanger. I still feel like it needs a little something else so I take some more of that laced ribbon and just make um, a very simple uh, shoestring bow um, just to uh, place on the um, back of the sign uh, just to give it a nice little finishing touch. And then for the last part, um, I wanted to take a few small um, flowers just to put at the top where the sign is, just to kind of cover the floral wire um, that I used to hang the sign. And here's the finished product, or so I thought. So after looking at it for a while, I really wasn't happy with the color of the words. So I decided to go back in with the Waverly chalk paint in white um, and just go over the words and um, kind of tone it down a little bit. And then I take some of the antique wax um, from Waverly and just uh, do a little bit of dry brushing to give it that kind of um, antique look.
So after going back and forth with the wax and the white, um, I just kept playing with it until I was happy with the way it looked. And here is the final, final finished product. Um, I think it came out so beautiful in the end. Um, and I hope you guys like it as much as I do. And for the second project, I decided to go the nautical route. Um, I got this sign from Hobby Lobby. Uh, the basket, of course, came from Dollar Tree. I got the um, sand dollars and um, starfish from, I believe it was the Dollar Tree. The fishing net came from AC Moore when they were going out of business. And the sea glass, I believe I got at Walmart. Um, and then I have some sand and um, driftwood from our local beach. So first I take some of this uh, spray adhesive um, and spray the driftwood. And I just wanna sprinkle some of the sand onto the driftwood. Um, and you'll see that I find a couple of tiny, tiny shells, um, and I was going to use them, um, but in the end, I decided against it. Uh, so once I had all of the sand sprinkled onto this piece of driftwood, um, I just sprayed it again with um, some more spray adhesive and put it aside to dry. So here I'm taking the uh, nautical uh, hanger from the sign um, and because it came off so nicely, I decided to put it aside and uh, reuse it to hang it on the basket. So I take some hot glue here and um, put the nautical rope back on the sign. Um, I do move it over um, more towards the center so that I have the extra slack for um, threading it through the basket and then have the ability to use it to actually hang the basket when it's completed. So after taking all the shells out and the sea glass, um, taking the uh, fishing net and trying to uh, find a good placement for it. This was pretty difficult uh, considering um, there's not much to grab onto with these baskets, but in the end I made it work out okay. So here you can see that I am just hot gluing um, the sign to the basket so it's not flopping around and just so that the hanger stays uh, where it should. Um, and then I am going to uh, place the 
fishing net in. Uh, this took a while, so I kind of uh, cut some of it out just so, again, you weren't so bored watching. And now that the fishing net is all in place, I can start adding all of the other items to the basket.
so here is the finished piece I am absolutely in love with this I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a big thumbs up hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a video thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time